This is the latest in running and endurance headlines with Pace Per Mile News and Lisa Knight. Good morning. Race organizers have not yet applied for permits to hold the Provo Halloween Race Series this year, and winning participants from last year are still trying to get the awards they earned. According to the race's website, winners get custom engraved glass trophies and personalized plaques with your choice of race photo. However, last year's winners have yet to receive said items, and several people have tried to contact race organizers with no response. The race website has not been updated and will not let people register. Now, that's really not too odd, as the race weekend is still eight months away. However, in past years, registration has been opened by Christmas. The Utah Consumer Sales Practice Act states that it is illegal for a company to advertise a prize and then not provide said prize. Florence Kiplagat has quite a goal for next month's London Marathon. Kiplagat says her target in London is to finish on the podium, if not run away with the crown, and she's certainly setting the pace to do so. She set a new record of 65 minutes 12 seconds last month during the Barcelona Half Marathon, smashing the previous mark of 65.50 set by Marathon. Mary Keatney. When the Columbia Marathon was canceled last year, 31-year-old Lexington resident Jesse Harmon made it a mission to bring it back, and it looks like he's pulled it off, taking only four months to do what many race directors require a year to accomplish. The rechristened Run Hard Columbia Marathon is set for Saturday with more than 1,200 entries in the various races, including more than 300 in the 26.2-mile distance. Based on advance entries and expenses so far, the first race is expected to just break even. But if there are any proceeds, most will go to scholarships for local after-school programs, and Harmon plans to donate some of the proceeds to the Jack Zeman College Fund for the son of Columbia marathoner Jack Zeman, who collapsed and died near the finish line of the Savannah Rock and Roll Marathon last November. Thirteen years ago, Alan Webb broke the four-minute mark for the first time. Since then, he set the American record in the mile and proved he can run with the best over multiple distances, ranging from the 800 to the 5,000. Two weeks ago at the Milrose Games, Alan took the track as a professional runner for the last time. Now, his career is featured in a mini-documentary on USA TV. The doc chronicles the final weeks of Alan's professional track career and asks, what's next for the fastest miler in U.S. history? And 393 runners cross the finish line at Clinton Middle School as part of the 35th annual Stu's 30K Road Grace on Sunday, marking the end of an era of sorts. 77-year-old Stuart Thurston, the race's namesake, has decided to end his association with the annual event, where he's not only been a participant, but at times race director, organizer, and volunteer, saying 35 years is enough. Thurston, who had knee replacement surgery three years ago, has finished 78 marathons and numerous other races throughout his long running career. That's a look at Pace Per Mile News for this Thursday, March 6th. I'm Lisa Knight. Go out and make it a great day.